There's an industry event that is going to be put on next year, the stainless steel in the food industry. Would you give us a bit of background? Why did this come about? How did, how did this kind of happen? Okay, well, actually, we sat together at the, uh, the BSA conference and dinner last year discussing the food industry and the use of stainless steel in that industry overall. Well, we decided that there was a distinct lack of communication and probably a little bit of lack of knowledge at the moment. And also there have been a number of changes within the legislation also that we were probably missing. So we, we got together and we thought it would be a damn fine idea to, uh, to try and give people a bit more guidance and a bit more help in that industry. So Eric, Obviously, you've been working with Rob and known Rob for many, many years now. But um, what were kind of your thoughts on, on what Rob's just kind of mentioned there with maybe this little bit of a, a lack of understanding about maybe some of the applications and the benefits of using stainless in, in, the, in the food sector? Because I did just assume that things are specified, so you just use what's on the drawing. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a wrong here. The, the problem is that what gets written on the drawing isn't necessarily the, the optimum choice of stainless steel. Uh, the industry may not appreciate it, but there are hundreds of different stainless steels uh, and probably 20 of them are in use on a daily basis in the food industry. And there's a reason there's a range because some of them have greater corrosion resistance than others, but they're more expensive. So uh, what, we need to, what we need to do is to, to help people to choose the right stainless steel, which does the job, but isn't over-specified and over-priced. And we find that people honestly don't know where, where to start. Um, uh, I also work with an organization for, on behalf of the Nickel Institute uh, called the European Hygienic Engineering and Design Group. And that's a group that studies how to manufacture the equipment, how to fabricate the equipment of the right material and so that it's hygienic. And uh, that's an international organization. And I know that the, the, the same problem exists in many countries. People just don't know what they don't know.